What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna be talking about how to defeat male weakness. Let's get started. is going to be your friend group so I'm not telling you that you have to eliminate all the people that you think are bad influencers or anything else like that that's uh, fully up to you but my recommendation is if you have certain friends and you probably know who I'm talking about but if you have certain friends that don't have similar goals as you or don't have the same level of ambition or don't have any goals that they're trying to pursue in the long term and short term those people will slowly little by little and in the long term keep you from reaching certain levels and achievements because you're going to get comfortable hanging around what they're doing and doing the level of activities that they're doing so it's going to prevent you most likely from doing certain things that you want to do and if you have certain things that you want to do for example for me a couple of years ago I wanted to start my own online fitness coaching business and I didn't know what exactly to do at that moment because it was brand new to me, but I got my certifications, I got the knowledge, I hired a business mentor and it kickstarted everything. During that time frame, I didn't really hang out with people as much because I was fully focused on becoming my own boss. And years later, I'm here now, but that's exactly what you need to do. You have to eliminate the people that are going to slow you down and focus fully on you in order for you to achieve those goals because if nobody else is going to focus on it you're never going to achieve it and that rolls directly into number two which is you have to crush your goals so let me give you a little hack system here set a lot of short-term goals that eventually lead into long-term goals so let me give you an example so if you want to go ahead and lose 10 pounds right try and make sure that you're losing one pound every single week keep track of your food keep track of your lifting sessions how much weight are you lifting and keep track of how much weight you're losing over time and keeping track of all that is going to keep you systematically in check that way you have no room for error making sure that you're eating healthy doing your workouts sleeping properly and all of those things is eventually going to lead you to eventually losing 10 pounds within a certain amount of time and before you know it that dopamine level that you're going to get from hey i lost 10 pounds is going to go amazing for you tip number three is going to be you want to increase your testosterone naturally so with that being said i'm not telling you to take steroids or anything else like that because i hate those things but what i'm telling you is you want to go ahead and focus on using everything that you can do to your advantage that will increase your testosterone naturally and the best way to do that is super simple just sleeping more so rather than doing just four or five hours of sleep every single night and then the next morning you feel super tired exhausted you have brain fog you're not thinking properly you're not alert and things like that rather than that stop doing that because you're only harming yourself try focusing at least getting six hours of sleep but more importantly seven to eight hours if possible but at the very least six hours because over time you're going to feel more alert more awake and you're going to be more productive in the long term and you're going to feel better each and every single morning rather than just hitting the snooze alarm come on guys tip number four is going to be you want to go ahead and go to the gym because just like all the points that i've mentioned previously going to the gym is going to transform your body give you more energy increase your testosterone and overall it's going to teach you discipline which a lot of people may not have and discipline is a great factor to have a great characteristic because it shows you when you have discipline for your specific body it's something that you can buy you can't cheat you have to work for it it doesn't matter who you are you could be elon musk you could be bill gates but you have to work for it and if you stop working for it it'll show if you continue working for it it'll show that's the one thing that i give full respect for for anyone that has a good transformation because they fully work for it so go to the gym track your workouts like i mentioned before and you're going to be a way better you tip number five is you want to get humbled now i'm not telling you go embarrass yourself <laughs> what i'm telling you is you want to go ahead and try certain things that are going to make you fail and certain things that are going to make you fail are going to eventually make you into a better you certain things might be hard at first just like working out was for me in the beginning but i failed and failed and failed at certain things and eventually i got better and better and better now this is one thing i absolutely hate failing at things because 
for me personally, it's annoying, but it's one thing that is required for proper self growth. You have to fail in order to become better, to learn from your mistakes, to learn not to do this, but to focus on that and things like that. So failure should not be seen as something negative, but rather a learning experience that can further boost you into the next level of thing that you would like to work on. So focus on getting humble, and learning from your mistakes, from your failures, which rolls directly into tip number six, which is facing your fears. Now, a lot of you guys might be facing some sort of fear, whether it's signing up for that class, talking to that girl that you like, or anything else that you want to do, but are too afraid to do it. Everybody has it. Certain things I've struggled to do, but eventually have gotten out of my comfort zone in order to do them. And certain times I've failed, certain times I've succeeded. It's life, it's going to happen but that is directly going to allow you to get rid of that weakness and produce a stronger version of yourself. You have to face your fears and when you do, certain times you'll fail, certain times you'll succeed, but over time you're going to succeed more and more because of all the times that you failed. And those are the top six things that I recommend in order to get rid of male weakness. If you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and remember, new videos every Tuesday, every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Time in YouTube Shorts on the daily, so stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Ariel Sorio, sending out. Thank you.